Hello and welcome back to our channel. Let's talk about how to fix the errors with msvcr100.dll. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Method 1. Microsoft Visual C++ Reinstallation Microsoft Visual C++ has a lot of versions which are not compatible with each other. Also, each of them have two versions for x86 and x 64 systems. The 100 index in the file name means that we need Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 version, so let's go to Microsoft official web page, open your browser, enter in the address bar microsoft.com slash download and press enter. Now open their built-in search, look for the 26999. This is the index of needed web page. And there are a lot of additional variants. Click on the name of the web page, which is the first in the report. Select the required language and click download. Here you see three variants of installers. So now minimize browser and press on the keyboard window and pause at the same time. This is the system properties window. Here in the system type uh, line will be written ciphers with your system capacity. Remember it also check your processor name for the Itanium word. Now let's go back to the download page in the browser. So if the system line has mentioned 86 bit, then take the first version. If it was 64 bit, then use the third version. But if your processor's name contains the word Itanium, then instead of it, you need the second version. Take the correct one and press download. Open the downloaded file. If it shows the window without additional installation options, then just Accept the license terms and click install. But if uh, Visual C++ 2010 was previously installed on your PC, then instead of a window with license terms, you will see two options, repair and remove. In this case, select the repair option and click install. At the end of the installation process, click finish and reboot your PC. If this method didn't help you or you want to use an alternative way, then go to method 2. Method 2. Manual replacing the correct file. Another way to fix the problem with the msvcr100.dll file and third-party software is manual copying it to the work folder of another app. You can find this file in your system or download it from the internet. To find it on your PC, open the explorer and go to the system disk. Type in the search bar msvcr100.dll and click enter. Be patient as this process may take some time according to your system performance. If it finds something, uh, then select the needed file and press Ctrl plus C on the keyboard. Now launch your problematic app and press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape to open Text Manager. Find here your app, open its context menu and select open file location. In the newly opened window, press Ctrl plus V to paste the previously copied file. Restart your app and check if it helps. If you didn't find any files with such names on your system disk, you can try to repeat this process on other PCs owned by you or your family members. If you don't have such a possibility, here's how to download it from the internet. Open in your browser the dllfiles.com website. Here in the search bar, enter msvcr100.dll and press enter. There will be only one result, press on it uh, to open its web page. Scroll down a little bit and here is the list of downloaded links. Select the most actual version according to your system architecture. Note that 32 here means the same as 86 bit capacity. Press download, wait 5 seconds and unpack the downloaded file in any folder on your PC. Next steps are the same. Copy this DL file and add it in the root folder of the app. In very rare cases, apps may be designed for using only with specific versions of the msvcr100 file. In such cases, it makes a reason to check other versions of the msvcr100 file on the DLL files website. That's all, like this video if it helps you and write in the comments if you have any questions about it. Bye!